In this video, we're going to be talking about how to detect if someone is smoking in your Airbnb short term rental. So stay tuned. Vacation Rental Machine helps hosts just like you learn how to start, grow, and scale your short term rental business. This show is all about creating systems that help you automate your business, giving you more time and money freedom. If you're ready to start living the vacation rental life, then subscribe to this podcast today. Come and join us on our Facebook group, The Host Nation, where we'll be talking about starting, automating, and scaling a short term rental business. Now, on to the show. Hey, welcome back, Host Nation, to another episode of Vacation Rental Machine. I'm Julian Sage with John Bell. And in this episode, we're talking about how to be able to detect if someone is smoking in your Airbnb rental. So it's a big pain when you show up to your property and then realize that there's smoke in it. And then you have to try to remediate that before the next guest comes. And maybe they're upset. Maybe they don't want to stay there. Uh, so we're going to be talking about some preventative measures that you can start doing right now in order to help prevent those situations from happening. So John, can you talk about some experiences uh, that you've had with guest smoking in properties and some of the tools that you're using now? to be able to help uh, detect that before it actually becomes a problem. Yeah, obviously, you know, housing as many guests as we have. And, you know, um, people, of course, like to smoke uh, when it gets cold. You know, it's one of those things people don't want to go outdoors anymore. I find that it happens a little bit more during the colder months, uh, but then there are certain places and that the younger crowd kind of comes to and they just want to smoke and they do so. Uh, and a lot of people have different clarifications of what smoking is. So for instance, some people say, oh, I'm just vaping, like it's not smoke, uh, which is actually a common uh, perception out there is like, oh, because it smells like something pleasant, it's not smoke. Uh, but of course it is. But what we want to do is to figure out how to detect this stuff, right? There are a couple tools that are out on the market. There's one professional tool, uh, which is not necessarily available for anybody small that doesn't have uh, at least 20 units or less, uh, but it's a product that's called Fresh Air. And it looks like an outlet and it actually detects tobacco smoke and weed. Plus that this detector has is uh, it's going to be a little more inconspicuous in comparison to a regular smoke detector. For anybody that has had anybody that has smoked inside of their units, people know if I'm going to smoke, I need to cover up that smoke detector. So you'll find uh, plastic bags and things just kind of wrapped around it just so it doesn't pick up uh, any of those issues. And why do you say that this tool is really just meant for operators that have multiple properties? So right now it's only being sold uh, in bulk uh, because the retailer has just found out it's just not beneficial enough for them to separate out for individual uh, smaller host. So, of course, maybe they'll actually produce it for us in the few months to come. Uh, but it's been on the market for about a year now. So I've always kept my eye on it. It is something that I continually think about adding into all of our units. However, there are some alternatives out there, and we'll get to that in just one second. But there's a couple things that you definitely need when trying to detect smoke in general. You want to be notified almost as soon as it happens, just so you can kind of get your antlers up, right? You want to just kind of know that this is potentially going on. Uh, at the same time, uh, you want some way to verify that at least there was some smoke detected in case the guest says, I didn't smoke inside of the place. So you want some type of remote alerting, uh, not just a smoke detector that goes off and it doesn't tell you that it's gone off. So coupling those two things uh, we can actually achieve that with some other products. But again, this product, the Fresh Air product, uh, it looks like a wall outlet. And I'll post a picture of exactly what it looks like. Uh, that way you can see that it's it's really inconspicuous. And most of the time, people won't be able to identify this is exactly what it is. So the Fresh Air tool might not be something that everybody can utilize uh, when they are just starting off, but what are some good alternatives that you can be able to pair together to uh, maybe have a similar experience? All right, so there are a couple keywords you wanna search for when you're looking for an alternative to detect smoke. They are Wi-Fi enabled smoke detectors. And one of the first products you'll probably see is called a Nest Protect. Uh, it was probably one of the first things that hit the market, and it actually does a really good job of pre-sensing, detecting, and alerting of any type of smoke that happens inside of the home. 
I find it crucial to kind of put this in an area where people would just gather and smoke like a living room. What I like about the nest is that it gives me a presense. It tells me, hey, there's a potential for some smoke. It also tells me that, hey, there is some smoke. And then it tells me that smoke is clearing. So it can get a little notification heavy, but at least you can kind of see the escalation of things. And potentially you might take an opportunity when this is happening to message and say, hey, uh, there's some smoke detected and we just want to make sure that things are okay. Essentially, this does the exact same thing as that commercial fresh air product. Um, however, it's something that we can all go buy from Amazon or Costco and put it into our places, but it is not as incognito. It does look like it's a smoke detector and it does talk to the guest. So uh, it will really just let them know, hey, I detect smoke. And from that alarm going off, they'll know that, hey, this device is located here. I'm sure that that other device doesn't do that. If you're interested in picking up the smoke detecting device that we we're talking about in this episode, you can click the link in the description down below. That'll take you to our kit where you can see some of the same tools that we are using. You can pick that up uh, from Amazon as well. In the next episode, we're going to be talking about the steps that you need to take in order to remediate if someone does end up smoking in your house. So question of the day, are you using any smoke detecting devices in your properties? If so, leave what they are in the comments section down below. And until next time, Host Nation, keep on hosting. If you'd like John and I to answer your guys' questions, then be sure to go to the Host Nation Facebook group and use hashtag AskVRM. Hope you host found value in this episode. If you did, please go on over to iTunes and leave us a review as that would greatly support the show. If you'd like to connect with John, the community, and I, then go on over to our Facebook group, The Host Nation. Talk to you hosts in the next episode. Keep on hosting.